Yeah, guys, yeah, it's, it's looking really good. Um, there is one thing. At a minute 32, it sounds like the audio is doubled. Yeah, Frank said something about that, you know, since he's the one calling all the shots on this one. Yeah, I am the one calling the shots. <laughs> Shut, Shut up, Frank. Frank. <laughs> Screw you guys. Anyways, um, Terry, wind it back a little bit. Well, right there. I think we need to cut to a medium shot right there. I think that would be best. Can we do that? Yeah, we can do that. I got that. Okay. Hey, when does this need to be submitted? Um, midnight, dude. We gotta get this thing done tonight. Uh, yeah, we also gotta get that $15 entry fee from everyone as well. Yeah, um, dude, I gotta study for a test. Um, so leave you guys here. You're the director. Uh, just fix what we said needs to be fixed. And, um, just send me the final cut whenever you're done, all right? All right, man. It's looking good. You got this. Welcome back. This is Crazy Dan coming at you from the crazy cage. We are going to get back to you with the music, but we just wanted to slow it down for a bit. I have a special guest in the studio this evening, my boy, George McGuire, here with his book, Handcrafted Discipline. George, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me, Dan. It's a pleasure to be here. So your book, Handcrafted Discipline, is a self-help book. Can you explain what that is to all the boys and girls out there? Well, Dan, Frank? Hey, John, you doing good, bud? Yeah, what's up, man? Not much. You busy? No, I'm just, um, I'm just looking at one of the cuts right now. So, uh, what else do we need to fix? What? I mean, I was wondering where are the shots. Frank, we went over the shots that need to be fixed, dude. I mean, uh, we did that before I left. I mean, you're the director, dude. You gotta make the call. But this is our project. Yeah, I know, but I'm just the producer. I mean, I, and I'm working on next week's script and trying to get the location settled. I mean. I got all this other stuff to do. That's why we went over this while I was there. Okay, okay. Leaving it in your hands. You're the director. You gotta make the final call. I'll, I'll get it. All right. Just, just get them fixed. We, we want to get it turned in tonight, dude. We gotta get it turned in tonight. Yeah, okay. Okay. Get it done, man. Hello? Hey. Hey, babe. Are you in the middle of something? No, I'm not doing much. I, I'm just, just looking over the one of the film cuts. You know, we're trying to get it turned in tonight. Cool. How was your day? Good. I just have some things on my mind. Can you come over later? Well, why can't we talk about it over the phone? Well, I'd rather not talk about it over the phone. Well, yeah, yeah, I can come over. I mean, I just... Uh, just... Oh, well, hold on. Uh, Dad just came home. I, I, I want to show him something real quick, okay? Okay, so... Yeah, I'll be over in just a little bit. Okay. Right, I love you. Hey, Dad, how was, how was work? It was work, so... Um, we've been working on this film project from school, you know, and I'm just wondering, you know, maybe you want to take a look at it? I mean, it's not too long. It's just a couple of minutes. I, mean, I just wonder if I could just be back in your opinion. I understand, son, but I have had a really long day. All I want to do right now is to see her and relax. I understand that you've been working, Dad, but I've been working hard on this, and I just I really want you to look at it. Do you have it right there, pulled up? Yeah, yeah, I can. I can get it pulled up right here. Hold on, I'm gonna make another beer. So, give me a second, and I'll I'll have it pulled up. Hold on. Look, I gotta take this. Hey, Mr. Craig, how's the rest of the business? Man, I've been busting my ass over this. Hey, you're gonna find out what a real busted ass feels like if you don't shut your mouth. I'm sorry, what was that you said? You're installing a warmer? Yeah, I know some people that can help you get that put in. What time? <sighs> if you want me to that early, you better bring the coffee. Good for her. Hey, babe, you think you can come up? I'm on the phone. Okay, well, I'll talk to you later, girl. 
Can you believe this bitch? I can't believe she got into Emery. Okay, so, so what'd you think of the rough cut? Well, it was okay. I, I, I just didn't really like the way that one girl sounded. Really? Yeah, but anyways, it brings me to what I want to talk about tonight. Well, what is it? Well, do you think you are on the right route? For what? For, I mean, do you think you can make it with what you're doing? Well, I mean, hold on. I mean, these are just short films. I mean, we're doing this for class and submitting them to film festivals. I mean, you gotta start somewhere. Yeah, but I eventually want to go somewhere, John. Yeah, me too, but it's gonna take some time. I mean, look at you. You're still in school. Yeah, but I'm going to school for something serious. John, I just don't get why you don't put your, your time into something more realistic. Where the hell is that coming from? I mean, I've been busting my ass over this, and it's not just for me, it's for us. I mean, isn't that what you want? I want something more. Like what? So you just want to give up what we have? Okay. And that was our final film, Dog Has His Day. And now it's time to present the award for best film. And the winner is... He Who Laughs by John Phelps. First off, um, I'd just like to thank our wonderful crew. Um, Terry, our editor, for putting it together. And Frank, our director, stand on top of things. Um, cast, crew, everybody else that was involved. Um, it was just a surreal experience, and um, a lot of hard work went into this. And um, just like to, it paid off. Um, and now, um, I'd also like to thank my um, for all the support. I'd, I'd like to thank um, 